Mr. McLeod, you do turn up in unexpected places. I was thinking the same about you. Out getting some fresh air? Religiously. I've heard it's so good for one's health. Even with a vampire on the loose? <laughs> Doesn't the thought give you goosebumps? Do you know I am almost starting to believe in it myself? I think this belongs to you. So it does. <sighs> where did you find that? In the room where they found Baines's body. Oh dear, you found me out. How many have you killed now to get Bel Air? Ah, uh, well, does it really matter? Brilliant, wasn't it? Jackham created the hysteria out of his own guilt at robbing that church in Transylvania. I merely made his worst fears come true. <laughs> and now the whole city is talking about me, the vampire. <laughs> It's been a brilliant performance. You are insane. Oh, please. We lived for centuries, McLeod. We have to find some way to keep ourselves amused. There are other ways. <sighs> I can tell you don't approve. You can say that. What about Juliet? Oh, I know. You're the type that marries for love. I, on the other hand, marry for money. Lots of it. So. What's it to be, Mr. McLeod? Live and let live, or... Do it again. Another time. Oh, uh, say goodbye to Julia for me. This is a joke. Not to the people you killed. They're mortals. Who gives a damn about them? You know, you'd have thought you'd have developed a sense of humor after all these years. How many years have you been doing this? For longer than you've been alive. It's been a hell of a show. It's always the same one. Hey, why spoil a good act?
when I'm good, I'm very good. But when I'm bad, <laughs> I'm great. <laughs> Islander will be back.